Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Joe Signorelli from OPG. We're here with Tim O'Halloran from Termaline Partners. He's a managing director there. He's been there since 2016, part of senior level management, and he spearheads their institutional sales and marketing. Um, Tim actually created and designed Termaline's proprietary commission management technology and infrastructure. And we're pleased to have him with OPG today to talk about just one or two things in a very short sort of OPG insight session. So let's uh, welcome Tim. Hey, how are you? Great. Nice to be here, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. So I really wanted to just hit on two things today and keep it, you know, very high level. If you could talk to us, uh, you guys are, you know, certainly a leading player in commission management and supplemental trading. If you could just tell us a little bit on the managing of your commission wallets, what you're seeing these days, maybe what's new, what's best practice and how you, how you uh, view it. Sure. Um, obviously, managing commission wallets is a core competency of any buy side trader. At Tourmaline, we operate like a large buy side trading operation, um, and that's a core part of what we do every day. Uh, we do that in three ways. We fund CSAs internally. We aggregate business for our larger clients who use us in a supplementary capacity, and we attribute business to the sell side, meaning we earmark flow uh, to sell side brokers to fund commission wallets. Um, there's a lot of chatter today, Joe, about uh, unbundling. It comes from MIFID and policy. Uh, regardless of what happens in Europe, regardless of how the SEC reacts to that, we expect CSAs to thrive and we expect bundled business to stay around for quite some time. Terrific, terrific. That's nice. Uh, that's good to hear. Um, also, I, I know this is something that I, I've always grappled with in regards to CSA credits and what best practices mm -hmm. there. It, it feels, at least to me as a hedge fund uh, lifer, that it's it's not a, a bright line, not a black and white type of Approach. So what are, what are you seeing as best practice on how people manage uh, adding adding commissions to their shares, turning them off, turning them on, those types of things? What are you generally seeing? Yeah. Um, you know, CSAs are ubiquitous. We do this for clients in the U.S. and non-MIFID non Europe and in and the Asia Pacific region. Um, you know, what clients do is really unique to them. It's a function of what their AUM is, what their turnover is, what their investment strategy is. Uh, every fiduciary's job is to protect and grow their clients' assets to keep costs low, but regulators allow them to add on more than a base rate if they're funding research and getting something of value in return. So the mission is make sure you're paying for research or brokerage services, make sure you're using it as part of your investment decision-making process, and make sure what you pay is commensurate with the value that you get. And lastly, Joe, really, we, we recommend that clients... Um, you know, keep an eye on their balances. There's no reason to leave outsized balances on the street. From a practical standpoint, what we see, clients trade at low touch rates. In the U.S., they're adding typically two or three cents. Again, that's, you know, differs from client to client. Um, overseas, they're trading at low low touch rates as well and adding, you know, somewhere between, I'd say, four to eight, you know, maybe a little more in bips. And how about, uh, how about high touch? Any difference there in what you see? And, you know, no, we see, you know, rates are, you know, three, four cents generally. You know, again, clients will use their judgment as to what the right amount is to remunerate each broker. Right. You know, their job is a fiduciary, so not overpay and keep their costs manageable. Do you see any issues uh, turning on and turning off repeatedly throughout a year? Or is that standard practice? Yeah, that is standard practice. I mean, we, we recommend when clients hit their research targets, it's okay to have a buffer, but again, there's no reason to leave an outside CSA balance residing with a broker. There's no value. Right, counterparty risk a little bit there is not worth it. Correct. Terrific. That's great. Um, I appreciate you coming today. We're going to do a few more of these, hopefully. And uh, thank you for coming today and being a partner with OPG. My pleasure, Joe. Nice to be here.